Hi, I'm Louise Edwards and I am currently Head of the PE Department at the William de Ferris School. PE has always been heavily supported by both my head teacher and my SLT. However, during the school's closure in the height of COVID-19 and the restrictions that it brought with it, we were unsure as to what PE would look like and whether it would be part of the return curriculum. Working with my SLT over the summer was crucial to discuss detailed plans for our subject that would meet all of the government guidelines and ensure that students were still able to access an enriched PE curriculum that they were used to whilst keeping them safe. One of the biggest changes to our subject due to the guidance was the use of the changing rooms. Despite some excellent facilities we have in our school, our changing rooms are very limited as is the space in them and therefore accommodating social distancing would not have been possible. This is particularly the case as some of our year groups have 60 boys and 60 girls making up 30 students in each of the changing rooms. With this in mind, it was agreed by my head teacher, like all the schools in our county, that our students would come to school on their PE days in their PE kit. Initially, we had concerns about this as we had to consider what was going to be appropriate for our students to keep them warm throughout the day and what would happen if they perhaps got wet together with what was going to be the sanctions in place if they turn up to school without their kit on. As we approached September, we had to have clear structures in place for our students to ensure they had everything they need for their PE lessons. This included designing a new kit for both boys and girls that was comfortable for the students to wear all day, together with making sure they had additional layers to keep them warm. Example of these have been the introduction of leggings for the girls and a new jumper for the boys, which so far have been a hit. Despite the concerns prior to September, the students coming to school in their PE kit has, been an has an, had an extremely positive impact to our school, particularly our subject and our students. So much so that I'm currently working with my head teacher to discuss whether this is something that can be maintained definitely for the remainder of this year and potentially post COVID-19 and into the future. To name a few of the positives, we have now had a complete reduction in our non-participants and it is now a rare occasion to see students not in PE kit. Students who were injured bring a note with them and have continued to wear their PE kit like the rest of their students, but they have taken part as a coach or a leader, which has really helped to develop students' confidence together with new responsibilities. More importantly, we have seen the biggest shift in our students' well-being, which has in turn increased participation and motivation for our subject. We have realised in the first half time, students who would normally have avoided PE or failed to bring kit or bring a note have taken part in all PE lessons. Looking into this further and simply asking some of our students, we've established that some of them are simply terrified of changing the PE kit due to low self-confidence and esteem and fears of comments being made about their body image. By coming into school in their PE kit, students' anxiety for this situation has been completely eliminated and students' confidence for our subjects has started to really shine through. We have also found that our lessons have given us lots of increased time as we don't have to factor in changing time at the start and at the end. Due to the reasons discussed above, my head teacher is fully on board with the positives it has brought to the students and therefore we will now look at conducting a staff, student and parent survey so that we can look at the views of PE kits from all parties. This will help us to make an informed decision regarding the PE kit in the future post COVID. For schools facing the same challenge of no changing rooms or if you've experienced something similar in your own department, I advise you to discuss this with your head teacher or your SLT links to highlight the benefits it has brought to your students and your subject, as we have really found that this one change within all of the guidance has raised the profile of our subject and helped to ease the students back into school after the closure.